Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Grace Beer Reviews today. Got home today and had a great big box of beer from Rico again. Rico, you outdone yourself, my friend. Uh, I got three three boxes that was in this great big box you see behind me. He double packages them like he always does. Uh, uh, wow, I mean, he just sent me uh, a couple of boxes uh, last week, I think. And now we got a three more boxes of beer. So let's see what he sent us. He did put a letter in here, uh, a little more information uh, on the beers that he sent. So uh, let's dive in and see what we got there, guys. By Christmas time here, Rico. I do appreciate it, my brother. You are awesome, sir. And evidently, you can get some very nice beer at where you're at, and a lot fresher than what I'm able to get here in Virginia. And I don't know what's up with that. I mean, the beer distribution in this state is horrendous. And I have some other subscribers that say the same thing where they're at. Uh, they go to the beer stores and there's IPAs that's six months old and you say anything to them and they, they give you attitude. That wouldn't sit well with me. Uh, if I tell you, you got an IPA that's on the shelf at six months old, you give me attitude? I'm going to tell you real quick what you can do with it. I don't give a damn if you ban me from the store or whatever. If, you're, uh, if your beers are that old, you probably don't need my business to begin with. So It wouldn't take long for us to part company. So. <laughs> Alright, first one out, 12 ounce can here guys. This is Funk Brewing and I have had some of their stuff. This is their Citrus IPA, ale brewed with grapefruit juice. 7% alcohol by volume. And right on the bottom it says canned on June the 8th of 2016. Very nice. That's how it should be done, guys. Right on the bottom of the can. Not rocket science. Come on. If you want to be in this business, get the machine. Put the date on it. Don't put it on the bumper of the truck that's delivering it. That's asinine. Asin asin Don't understand that thinking. We want to be in the beer business, but we can't afford the machine. Well, you don't need to be in the beer business if you can't afford the equipment. Well, I look at it, but anyway, that's just me. I guess that's one reason I'm probably not in the beer business. If I was, I'd have the machine. Trust me, I would. To me, it's just as important as the brew kettle. So, some people think so. Some people do not. So, and I have left beers sitting on the shelf because they don't have a date on them or they're at their end of shelf life. I'm not going to spend my money on them. Alright, the next one here is Wirebacher 17 Saison Ale Brewed with Spices. Uh, orange peel, lemon peel, grapefruit peel, pink peppercorns. 10.5% alcohol by volume. Big beer. And I thought they dated their stuff. Uh, of course, being a ten and a half percent, or it's going to keep. Uh, see if you've got anything on this. Uh, Seventeen Imperial Asylum purchased this beer at the beer store in 2012. Don't remember the price. Comes in four packs. 2012 vintage. So, these are some of the beers out of his private private stash. Uh, so, Rico, thank you, my friend. Uh, I do appreciate you pulling beers out of your fridge and sending them to me, or out of your closet or wherever you're keeping them, and uh, sending them to me to review. You are, you're an awesome guy. You're a, you're a really kind of friend that everybody wants to have, and I've seen comments, uh, Rico, send me beer. Uh, Everybody needs a buddy like Rico. Yes, they do. No doubt about it. Well, evidently, he gets some really good stuff where he's at. All right, the next one, the third one out of the box here, guys. According to this paper, there's 21 beers in these boxes. Massive beer mouth package again. All right. This is, I can't read this, it's 
got the 275 price tag right on the label here. Let me turn it around. Hijinks Citra Squeeze IPA. 6.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, on the bottom here, it says Tomfoolery in every can. Mm, 0005. They take the time to write that horse shit on the bottom of it, but they can't put the date on the bottom of it. I got a, they got the machine, but they choose not to put the date on it, and they want to write some ass and out horse shit on the bottom of it. Uh, it says here, hot jinx, such a squeeze, no date. Picked this up last week at the beer store. Sold in six packs. So, Rico, I appreciate you sending it to me. But they do have a machine that's able to put the date on the bottom of it, and they choose to write Tom Frulery in every can. I'm going to to slap somebody up there. So uh, we'll probably review this pretty quick, and if it's a good beer, I'm going to tell you it's a good beer, guys. But i got a problem with them using the dating machine that prints on the bottom of the can to write some silly-ass shit on the bottom other than the date. So to me, I know you got their head up their ass. Or this don't give a rat's ass, whether you know how old the beer is or not. Uh, in my opinion, guys, if I went to the beer store and I seen this and looked at the bottom of it and it had that shit written on the bottom, I would set that puppy right back up on the shelf. But I guess uh, they don't. They don't care. They figure some sucker will come along and buy. It, it wouldn't be this sucker, I tell you that. But. Uh, We'll give it a fair, we'll give it a fair swipe. If it's a great beer, I'm gonna say it's a great beer. But I am gonna, I'm gonna knock it cause they have the damn machine that writes on the bottom of it and they choose to write some silly ass shit instead of the date. All right, this is Keegan Ales. This is Mother's Milk. And this is a stout brewed and in bottle at Keegan Ales, Stratford, Connecticut. And here it says batch number 265, 2015. But it doesn't say why, uh, what in 2015. Let's see if it has an ABV written on it. Hmm. Not seeing it. Now they need to put the ABV on there so we know how big a beer we're drinking, guys. And having the batch numbers for their reference, not for ours. But it does have 2015. Giga Nails Mother Milk comes in six pack. Ten to eleven dollars purchased at the beer store. Date says two sixty-five, and it says batch number two sixty-five. I don't know if that means the two hundred sixty-five, two hundred sixty-fifth day of twenty fifteen. I actually looked that up, and it means September twenty-second, twenty fifteen. A little over nine months. Still should taste fine. Six, and he's looked it up. Six percent ABV. All right, that, I consider that a low ABV stout. So uh, this probably needs to be drank fairly quickly. Let me set this one down and slide this around. Alright, the next one, another can looks like. And this looks like a 16 ounce can too. And this one is, and this got a paper label on a plain silver can here. And this is Congress Street India Pale Ale, 7.2% alcohol by volume, brewed in Massachusetts. Mm, they're in Boston. Uh, and that's basically all the pertinent information that's on the side of the label here. And it says 062916. So this was done on June 29th of 2016. And I'm, uh, I'm doing this beer mail video on the 7th of July, so this is pretty damn fresh. I can never get a beer that fresh from a brewery here in Virginia. Unless I go to the brewery itself. That's the only way I can get it, because the ones at the beer store are never this fresh. Uh, Congress Street, let's see what he has written here. Picked this up at the brewery last month, not sure on the price, sold in four packs, dates on the bottom. Yep, pretty damn fresh if you ask me. Alright, let's set this one down, let's set this one up here where y'all can see it, Congress Street. 
Uh, with this many beers, uh, this is probably going to be a long video, guys. I mean, getting going through and opening up uh, this many different uh, boxes and uh, and cans here. Just bear with me if you want to watch and see what I get. All right, there's another Funk uh, Citrus, so he has sent me two of those. One to review right here and one to have at a later date. Very nice. We're going to set this down. Alright, so we've got a bottle here. Alright, this is Weyerbacher 20th Anniversary. So we've got uh, the 20th and there's the 17th. It says here, 20th Anniversary is a Belgian Strong Dark Ale. Comes a four pack for $15. Bought this at the beer store last year, 2015 Vintage. And it says right on in blue writing, which is easy to see, 061015. And that is the bottled on date, and underneath it, it's got 061020. So they're giving this beer a five year shelf life. And for a, uh, a Belgian Strong Ale, 11% got written on the label here. That's, that's what we need. I mean, a bottled on date and a Best Buy date. That's, that's a win win for everybody. That's a win win for everybody. All right, guys. Uh, I'm going to the 17 down. Let's bring down the funk. Get the funk. There's the 20th wire bucker. Alright, next one out of the box here. out here looks like it is this one the horse let's see what he's got written on the page here dark horse percolator yep dark horse percolator coffee doppelbach picked this up at the beer store in 2014 Malt beverage with coffee added, coffee grounds, 7%. So I don't know how well this has sellered, uh, being a uh, 2014 edition and have a coffee in there. The coffee may have faded on this one. Uh, and I don't see any dating other than what he's got written in the letter on the package here. So uh, 2014 edition. Hopefully the coffee hasn't faded. I'm going to set this can down out of the way. Set this one up. Alright. The next package. This is Brasserie du Dussel Rigor Mortis ABT. Uh, Abbey style brown ale coming in at 10.5% and it's notched here on the one and on the four. So let's see what he has written. Brasier du de Silver Mortis Belgian Quad picked us up at the beer store in 2014. So uh, to me, it looks like uh, in different countries, because this one's this one comes from Canada. I'm pretty sure they date their stuff different, but it's got the one notch and the four notch. So maybe January of 2014. That would be my guess. But being a ten and a half percent, it's going to keep for quite a while. 
All right, let's set this one down, and this looks like it was five dollars and seventy-five cents for this bottle. And these guys that do the sell make some really tasty beers, really tasty. And you can see their bottles are a little bit smaller than the standard twelve ounce, like eleven point two fluid ounces. All right, the next one. I like it when they send the, the listing with a little more information. So we don't have to go to the website and look it up or, or stuff like he knows when he bought it and, and knows what vintage it is. Uh, a lot of times he'll send me an email uh, and tell me that stuff. Because I don't go to the, the websites, guys. If it's not listed on, on the bottle of a can or on right where a beer advocate when it was done, it's really. Yes. All right. This is another Mother's Milk from Keegan Ales, and this is uh, this has got the same batch, 265, 2015 on there. So we've got one of these setting up there. He has sent me one to review and one to have at a later time. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it, Rico. All right. Yep, this is another one. So he has sent me at least three, if not four, of these. Uh, another, he must really like this because he sent me, sent me more than one. So another King and Ale's Mother's Milk. And the last one it looks like in this box. <clears throat> and it is another Mother's Milk. So he has sent me an entire four pack of the mother's milk. Yep, he's got four X written there, so. Four X in there. Comes in six packs, which is, uh, which is probably about right for a six percenter. A lot of the, uh, the uh, milk stouts are a little bit bigger than that, than a 6%. So, uh, hopefully it's still tasty. I got four of them to drink. And that's the, uh, the end of that box. So, let me get this one out of the way. And he has sent a small box and another fairly good size box. So... Got a little small box here. It looks like he's got some cans in this one. And this is Forgotten Boardwalk Brewing Company. And it says Funnel Cake. I think it looks like it says 5.5%. I don't see any dating on the bottom of the can. Let's see what he has written about this. Forgotten Boardwalk Funnel Cake Cream Ale. Comes in six packs for $10.99. Bought this beer. Bought this at a beer store in New Jersey. Best by date is on the classic six pack holder. No can on date. So, uh, I don't have the six pack holder that it comes in, so he didn't put on there what the, what the date is on this one. So, uh, yeah, it says 4X here, so I'm um, taking, taking in that he has sent me four of those. So, that may be what these other cans are. Yep. One, two, three. He has sent me four of those in this box. 
So uh, all four of these are the same as, uh, as this one, all three of those. So I've got a, uh, I've got a four pack of those. Uh, and according to what he says here, the, uh, the beer comes in a six pack. So he's either had, he's keeping two or he's already drank two. All right, we got another big box here. I'm going to slice it open here and see what's in here. Wow. This box is jam full, guys. Well, let's just start here at the top. Like I said, this is probably going to be a long video, guys. The amount of beers he has sent. Alright, this is Weyerbacher's 18. It's a Wiesenbach. 11.1% uh, alcohol. And the 18, he says, Wiesenbach purchased in the summer of 2013 at the brewery. I believe they were $75 per case. Comes in four packs. 2013 vintage. So... At 11.1 percent, I'm sure it probably kept very well. We're gonna find out. So let me set that up there. Uh, he must be a uh, Weyerbacher fan. They do make some tasty stuff, especially their big beer. And I would say just about all their anniversary stuff is uh, gonna be tasty. The next one out is Boke's Monster Mash, Russian Imperial Stout, 10% alcohol by volume, a big malty beer with lots of hops. Brewed a bottle by Ford Boke Beverage. Compton Lakes, New Jersey by High Point Brewery in Butler, New Jersey. And what he's got written about this, books. Let's be on this page. Books. He says 2015 or 2016 question mark. Books Monster Mash Imperial Salad. Picked this up for four dollars at the beer store last week. Comes in four packs. Not sure whether this is a 16 or a 15 or older vintage since they just permanently closed the brewery this year. So these guys aren't in business anymore. Hmm. Wow, sad, but usually there's a reason for that. So hopefully it's a tasty beer. All right, the next one. Alright, this is 18 watt IPA, they call it Billy, it's an authentic local beer, 100% made by Single Cut Beer Smiths in their Astoria, New York City brewery. 5% alcohol by volume, brewed by Single Cut Beer Smiths. Mastery knows no shortcut. Single Cut. Uh, said it's uh, 86 IBUs, but I don't see ABV, so let's see what he's got. Single cut bill 18 wine session, date on the bottle says 610. So there must be a date somewhere on the bottle that I'm not seeing. I will keep this list that he sent me so when I review the beers, I will be able to find out the information that I need to without have to jump through hoops or anything. I do not see that date. So maybe it's hard to see. But anyway, 
I'm going to set some of these down out of the way here, guys, so we can get the rest of these in this box up here. And it's got $8 on the top of the bottle. So, and it's fairly, a little bit larger bottle than a standard 12 ounce. So almost looks like a 22 ounce. Like the other half is just pulled up outside. She's just getting off from work. So I will probably pause the video so she can get in the door. This is Wirebacker 16. And Wirebacker 16, a Braggot Ale, Baltic Beer, got a beer store back in 2013. Not sure about the price. Comes in four packs. 2011 vintage on this. So it's a 10.5% alcohol by volume beer. Alright, I'll set that up here where y'all can see it. That's the 16. Uh, the next one out. This is Wirebacker 21. So he has sent me just about one of every one from 16 on up and the 21 is bourbon barrel aged stout brewed with cocoa and vanilla 11.9 percent uh, comes in four packs paid 22 dollars at the beer store last week 2016 vintage. So this is their evidently their newest one here. And it says package on 062316 in blue right there. So uh, about as fresh as you can get. And that's their latest edition of their anniversary L evidently. And while I was waiting for her to get in, we uh, I went ahead and unwrapped this one. This is Fegley's Brew Works Bourbon Barrel Insidious. Imperial Stout Ale aged in bourbon barrels, 9% alcohol by volume. And he has Bagley's Brew Works, Assidious. Picked this up in winter 2013 at the store, $12 for a four pack. So uh, this is aged, uh, aged in a bottle for a couple of years. Not quite. Uh, I mean, it's uh, just depends on when they done it in 20, uh, 2013. Uh, 14, 15, 16. If they did it in the wintertime, it's definitely two years old. Maybe getting close to three. So. Alright, the next one out. Another one from Weibacher. This is their 19 wheat ale brewed with mango. And it says 0606 2014. And that's the bottle on date. And Best Buy 0606 2019. So they're also giving this on a uh, five year shelf life on this one. And he says the 19. 10% American Pale Wheat Ale, bought this in 2014, $15 for a four pack 2014 vintage. So, let me set this big bottle down out of the way, set that up there. So they've got the whole series of, uh, of Weyerbacher beers and the anniversary ales. Alright, sounds like a big bottle here. got paper around this. Uh, 
All right, this is their, this is St. Arnold's Pumpkinator. I actually have uh, one of these uh, in the fridge that somebody sent me, I'm pretty sure. Uh, well, I lost my paper. St. Arnold St. Arnold Pumpkinator Imperial Pumpkin Stout traded for this back in 2013. So, uh, and this also has a bunch of digitized coating on the side of the bottle. And I think it's saying package 0927 of 13. 2013 edition. I'm not sure which one I have in the refrigerator, but I, I think I have a version of this at uh, Brandon or somebody. I'm not sure. Sent me. I've got their name on the bottle. Whoever sent it to me. And uh, I haven't reviewed it yet because I was waiting for the pumpkin season. So we'll see if uh, if it's the same vintage. Uh, if it is, I will shout out both Rico and uh, uh, the other person's name when I do it. And if it's two different years, we may do a vertical side by side. So. Let's set this down. And set that up right where you can see it. And for the pumpkinator, I mean, it's an imperial pumpkin. So uh, this is a big beer. I'm uh, seeing if it had the AB written on there, but I don't see it. So I'm not exactly sure how big a beer it is. I was thinking it was a 10, 11, or 12 percenter. I'm not sure. But it does have 2013 written right on the label right here underneath the, the St. Arnold. Imperial pumpkin salad brewed with pumpkin and spices. But I don't see a minute, I mean a uh, ABV on the guys. So, we'll see if they're, with, the other one is a 13. Maybe we'll do a vertical if it's not. Alright, another big one out of here. Wow, this looks like a corked and cage. I can't tell. He's got it wrapped in paper too. This is Weyerbacher's Blasphemy. Blasphemy. Uh, Weyerbacher. Blasphemy. Barrel aged version of the Weyerbacher Quad. Picked this up in 2013. Should be a 2011 or early 2012 since it's the old Weyerbacher font and logo. They uh, started using a new logo toward the end of 2012. Don't remember the price, he says. Wow, I mean, that's a big bottle. 11.8%. So uh, this and hopefully has aged very well. Cork and cage bottle here. Let me set this down. one up here where y'all can see it. Great big 750 milliliter bottle there. Big bottle. Looks like we've got three more in the box here, guys. Wow. This is like Christmas. It is just like Christmas. This is Danish Metal Imperial Stout. Amager um, Amager Brewing, product of Denmark. 10% alcohol by volume. Yeah, this is this is a Danish beer. This comes straight from Denmark, and it's a uh, like I said, 10%. This is $13 for this bottle here, guys. Uh, see what he has written here. Amager 
according to what he's got here, maybe a uh, a collaboration between Omgar and Jester King, Danish Metal. Imperial Stout picked us up last week at the store for thirteen dollars. Yep, still got the label on top of the sticker, a price sticker on it. So this ought to be very interesting. Don't get a lot of uh, Danish beers, <laughs> so uh, looking forward to that. That ought to be very, very tasty. Uh, it's got to do some really nice stuff across the pond. Uh, a lot of the beers over there are very, very nice. Uh, Ooh, this is like a big bottle. Right. He's got these big bottles wrapped in paper on the inside. Ooh, this is from Brooklyn Brewing. I recognize that big B, Corky K's. This is a Brooklyn Silver Anniversary Lager. Brooklyn Brewery. Uh, Brooklyn Silver Anniversary Lager Doppelbach picked us up in the summer of 2013. $12 to $14 per bottle, I believe. So, uh, it says here it's a 9% alcohol. So, never really cellared a lager for a long period of time. So this should prove interesting. Uh, most of the lagers are lower ABV. Not all of them, but most of them are. And this being 9%, we'll see how well it's selling. All right, I'm gonna pull this out because these bottles are fairly big. I don't want to fall over. Get that up there where y'all can see the label on that. And there's one more here in the box, guys. So let me go ahead and Get this last one out, get it opened up. Massive beer bottle packets. Seems like each one gets a little bigger and a little more extravagant. Rico, you are awesome, my friend. I do enjoy getting these packages from you and everybody. But you seem like you outdo yourself each and every time. All right, final beer here, guys, is Lagunitas Gnarly Wine Star Ale. It says Old Gnarly Wine Star Ale. 10.6% alcohol by volume. This is from Lagunitas Brewing, limited release. And he has... Back at this gnarly wine, barley wine, no date, picked us up in the winter of 2014, don't remember the price. And this being a 10.6 percenter, I'm sure it's going to be tasty, guys. So, for the final beer, let me set this one back and set this one up there where y'all can see it. That is a monster Bill Mouth package I got from Rico. Like I said, just got one from him last week, a couple boxes from him last week, a big box and a little box. And then he sent this massive box with three boxes inside of it. According to what he's got here is 21 different beers and multiples of several. So, uh, massive beer mail package. Rico, thank you, my brother. I do appreciate everything that everybody sends me. Uh, it's like Christmas, like I said. Uh, it's Christmas in July. So uh, let's get these things uh, into the fridge and get them chilled down and uh, get these uh, ones that's un undated uh, uh, reviewed pretty quick. And these bigger beers, uh, they'll probably keep for a little bit. So we're going to do them in a timely fashion. So that being said, let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. <laughs>